Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will share with you my recipe for shrimp and sweet potato fritter or bánh tôm chiên. Um, it's super crispy and this is the perfect snack for you to serve as a party. So let's begin. To prepare the butter, in a large mixing bowl, mix 2 cups of all-purpose flour and 1 cup of rice flour. Also add in salt, sugar and turmeric powder about half a teaspoon each. The turmeric powder will give the fritter a nice yellow color later. Also add in 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Or you can also replace with 2 beaten eggs. Mix it up, make a well in the middle and pour in 3 cups of water. Stir really well until you see no more lumps. It will be better if you use a balloon whisk like this and whisk vigorously until you have a smooth butter. You can also strain the batter to remove all the pockets of flour. Let it rest for 30 minutes. For the shrimps, we're gonna stream off the legs, the tip of the head and the end of the tail. Then season with some salt and chicken stock, around half a teaspoon each. We're gonna eat the shrimps at a whole, so you want to use small shrimps with soft shell. Also season with some ground pepper and a teaspoon of minced garlic. Mix well and set aside for about 15 minutes. Now prepare one large bowl of cold water and add in a little bit of salt. Peel the sweet potatoes and cut into thin strips. You can use a mandolin or a shredder like this. Then soak the shredded sweet potatoes in the bowl of water. So here is the butter after 30 minutes resting. It still looks quite liquidy but that's okay. Then add in all the shredded sweet potatoes. That was around 500 gram. Give it a good mix and you will get a batter like this. Now we can start deep frying. Heat a lot of vegetable oil at least 2 inches high until you see bubbles coming up around the chopstick. Submerge a ladle into the hot oil to get it greased and hot. Then spread some of the sweet potato butter on top. Also dip the shrimp in the butter and place on top of the sweet potatoes. And then submerge the whole thing in the hot oil again. You know what? Using this wok is not a good idea. So I switched to this higher saucepan so that I can lean the ladle on the side without having to hold it the whole time. You want to wait a little so that the sweet potato strips get cooked and bite to each other well. Then push it out and fry until golden brown. Because the butter is not very thick, so if you push it out too early, it might fall apart. At some Asian market, they do sell the special mold to make this, so it won't be too sticky like the ladle I'm using here. When it turns golden brown, transfer to a paper towel to remove the excess oil. To serve, you need a platter of fresh vegetables. A bowl of Vietnamese dipping sauce, nước chấm, and some pickled carrots and kohlrabi. Normally they cut it into halves or quarters, but I'm so hungry right now so I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Place this on a piece of lettuce, top up with some herbs like mint or coriander, a slice of cucumber, some pickled carrots or green papaya, and we're gonna dip it into this light dipping fish sauce. You can click on the dipping fish sauce and the pickles to see the recipe. I will also put the links in the description box below. Now wrap it up and enjoy! Okay, you should hear this. The good news is it's gonna stay crispy like this for 8 hours. So it can be a great choice for finger food at a party. You wanna hear it again? How crispy that is? Oh god, it's so good. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me if I make you feel hungry. You can go to the kitchen and make other kinds of Vietnamese bun. 
You can click on the pictures to enter the world of Vietnamese cakes. If you like them, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.